Injection Molding, Sustainability, and Recycling. Orange Plastics Academy. Let's look at the big picture. There are three major areas in which injection molding can become more sustainable. Recycling raw materials, low energy consumption, and minimizing waste. One, recycling. For a long time, plastic recycling didn't utilize the full potential of the recycled materials. Oftentimes, different kinds of recycled plastics were blended together to be reused for low-grade plastic products. For instance, high-quality medical equipment would get a second life as a low-grade plastic 9-pin. Fortunately, the industry is now taking major steps in the right direction as it's embracing horizontal recycling. Horizontal recycling means that plastic products are collected and assorted within their own plastic polymer type. The material can then be reused to create the same product or a different high-end product of the same type of plastic. Orange Plastics is partnered with the R2S Foundation. This foundation helps connect end-users with manufacturers, enabling consumers to return plastic products for reuse as raw materials. Executed in the right way, horizontal recycling benefits both our planet as well as production cost, showing great promise for the future. Go to www.returntosender.org for more information. 2. Energy Consumption Both the injection molding machine and auxiliary equipment require great amounts of energy to operate. We see that injection molding machines are constructed more energy efficient, but the machine user can make a difference as well. A sustainable injection molding company seeks to reduce cycle times and put idle time to good use. This not only benefits the environment, but also leads to a lower cost per product thanks to more efficient usage of time and equipment. 3. Waste There are many ways and forms through which waste can result in a suboptimal production process. Transport can be unnecessarily wasteful, such as moving resin from warehouse to the press, moving tools and auxiliary equipment, and transport of finished products to their final destination. Similarly, inventory waste can occur when holding unnecessary material or parts when not needed. Both types of waste can be reduced tremendously by smart coordination and management of transport and inventory. Time is another major waste factor. Time waste mainly occurs when the chain of process steps aren't optimized, resulting in unnecessary waiting time for parts, information, instructions, and equipment. Time waste brings an undesired domino effect that wastes costly electric energy, machine potential, and labor hours. Additionally, overprocessing results in a waste of resources and energy. Overprocessing can range from utilizing a press tonnage that's unnecessarily large or manufacturing parts that are of tighter tolerance than what is required by the customer. Orange Plastics Academy is brought to you by Orange Plastics your partner in injection molding. Want to learn more about plastic and injection molding? Subscribe to this channel or visit www.orangeplastics.com.